What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Where Did All My Friends Go? A podcast about life in the music industry. I'm your host, Patrick Tarnowski. With me, as always, is my homie, Matt Reed. And today, we have Alex from Brooklyn, from Fargo, North Dakota. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. Thanks for having me on. Heck yeah. Yeah, I've been... Um, I, I, I swear to God, I like... I been keeping up with you guys since you first were starting i think i messaged you um to try and put shows like with an old band of mine like quite a while ago <laughs> right on what was your old band uh cities never sleep okay oh got you okay that's okay yep, yeah i know that and uh i think i think it pretty much when i hit you up you were like we're we, we're still just putting things together <laughs> yeah. it's well, like, so- <laughs> hell yeah well let's start out talk about your latest ep stay toxic which is your first release under adventure cat records and has the previously released single stay toxic uh love is bullshit and bad habits how's the response been for the ep so far it's been really good we've been getting lots of good feedback from people a lot of people saying how much they relate to it being in toxic relationships and dealing with toxic people uh, it's been a lot of fun. We we spent a lot of time on that album, really um, taking stuff from our own lives and applying it to our, you know, our music. And it's really resonating. So pretty good. Awesome. How, like, how, when did you start uh, working on this, this new EP? So last July is when we started working on it. So we went down to Orlando, Florida and recorded with Andrew Wade. Okay. Uh, so for people that don't know who that is, I uh, recorded bands like Neck Deep, Wage War, you know, day to remember um it was awesome we went down there and i think we spent about two weeks in the studio with him and uh really learned a lot about re- the recording process and, and writing and producing music so um, not only did we get a killer album out of it we got a lot of knowledge from andrew wade so that was pretty sick going down there yeah, andrew andrew wade's a is a major pro <laughs> yeah yeah He's the major. guru major major uh person in the scene uh i thought i saw like did, so you crowd funded this album is that right no actually oh. we we actually paid for that right out of our own pocket oh there you go yep i, I read some, the, i read we, wrong <laughs> we probably had talked about it or something like that trying to get something like you want at the beginning um you know what maybe we maybe we did maybe i think we probably we did like a kind of a kickstart thing donation thing whatever we might have gotten some of that. I might have. That's been a long, a while ago. So, um, for the most part of it, yeah, we we paid out of our pockets for that one. Yeah, that's a like for those uh, listening that don't know. I mean, being in a band, it's it's very expensive. It's a very yeah. expensive gig. <laughs> it is at least when you get started. You know, like getting everything. You know, good recordings and producing, and you know, when you go to a good producer and everything like that, it costs money. But you know, the right. final product. What, what matters so you want to spend that money on a good producer so absolutely it's having a uh you know having an another ear uh on your music you know is right. is is key i mean just because you wrote something doesn't mean that it's the most perfect way and how it's the final product is going to be correct yeah and I, you know, that was one of his things too it's just like when we gave him you know full reign on it you know obviously because being andrew wade and we're just like yo we're going to be full rain on it. Like we got some stuff that we came in with and want to show you, if you think it sucks, just let us know. And he, and he would say if it didn't really like it or if he wanted to use it. So it was kind of, it was nice. You got to kind of drop your pride a little bit when you go into the studio and um, you know, it's, it's easy to do with Andrew Wade because you trust everything he does. You know? <laughs> but, <laughs> right. Right. I, I mean, you know, you're not, not going to fight him, fight him on right. it. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. what do you know, Andrew? <laughs> Yeah, right. right. <laughs> uh, Brooklyn started in 2020, uh, 2020 and released your first record, Roll With The Punches, on We Are Triumphant Records. How did you get hooked up with them before releasing your first music? So we, during the pandemic, um, we had just kind of put the, together the band and actually got the set members that we had at the time. Um, we practiced up and we were ready to play our first show. And then pandemic hit didn't get to play it so we're just like whatever let's let's back to the drama here and we went 
took that time during the pandemic to really like sit down and just like write a full, you know, a full album, like EP, some other extra songs we added on a different, you know, things that we did. But uh, yeah, it was like during the pandemic time, we really got together, wrote all that in, uh, in our apartment. And then we sent it out to Jeremy McKinnon out of Pennsylvania, I do believe, to mix and master. Mm-hmm. And once we got that done, um, we just put it out on Spotify, not really even knowing what we were doing uh, at first, because we before we knew of the whole like release radar on Fridays type thing, everything we right. we <laughs> released anxiety off of that album first on like a Wednesday or a Thursday or something like that, and then uh, we started adding more songs. I think we dropped once we put that one down. I think we just had the other song. We hadn't even put anything else on there. We might have done one other one off of that album, and then we got a lot of good response from anxiety and i think we were just sitting around one day and um nico at the time who worked for we are trump and hit us up on messenger or whatever was like, you know, uh, so, so was nico and i'd like to get t- the time to sit and talk with you guys about you know possibly jumping on to we are trump and, and so we just kind of went about it that way you just kind of discovered us through word of mouth listening and stuff and then um they did. They got a thing with the Sony Orchard involved, whatever, and we we're just like, okay, that sounds like a good idea. So we signed to them, and for that, for that uh, EP, we rolled the punches, and that's how we got signed by them. That's awesome. Yeah, I I remember the first time I saw you, like heard you, I saw the music video for Anxiety, and I was like, God damn, that's a that's a <laughs> banger. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. It's like we rented out like a. Everybody thinks it was like done at an airport or something, but it was like just a, a fairground building that is in Minot, North Dakota, and it just saw a bunch of windows. It was like, yeah, let's rent that out, shoot it there. Hell yeah! How's how's the scene out in Fargo? I mean, it's always been uh, pretty good. It's, I mean, it, it's it's still here. It's like a lot of DIY stuff, whatever. It was just still cool that's going on. Um, probably just not as big as it was back in the day. Yeah. But it's still it's still going, and it's it's like I said, it was really hard to even find the members for this pop punk project because, like all of us, you know, like everybody in the band actually has like a deathcore past. So yeah. like we all came from like deathcore, <laughs> pop, you know. So it's like trying to find someone who's willing to go from deathcore to pop punk is kind of a struggle, but we did it, and. uh you know, the, our drummer who was big into deathcore, like, was kind of like, ah, I don't know. And then he, he seen, like, kind of like what we were going with. And he's like, oh, dude, now he loves it. Now we're, like, showing him bands like State Champs. And, like, there you go. There you go. Nice. Loving yeah. it. His favorite is, like, Stan Atlantic. So nice. That, I mean, they yeah. rule. They rule. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I, I remember, you know, playing at the Red Raven a, a bunch of times, uh, like, back in the day. You know, I'd go out there with, or I'd come out there with my friends and, uh, uh, no wings to speak of get some really fucking heavy shit out there uh there there were always some really awesome bands that what i'd either play with or see out there what are some of your favorite locals that you've either performed with or looked up to when you were first coming up in the scene now uh locals there's been quite a few um like i said um i honestly like where i'm from i'm like four hours five hours away from fargo oh okay So I don't get to go and like see a lot of like the, you know, bands that have been there shortly and then left and everything. Um, There was a few like, you know, Tiny Moving Parts is from Mm -hmm. that area, you know, so, you know, those are great guys. Love their, love their music. Mm -hmm. Uh, These Hearts back in the day, I don't know if you remember These Hearts. I remember These Hearts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're (laughs) awesome guys. Still hang out with them. Actually, their drummer was uh, actually our drummer, second drummer. He's actually in the music video for Anxiety. Okay. Because looking for a drummer at the time he wasn't sure if he wanted to join yet kind of just I'll, they'll do it for the video and after that we ended up did we had him for a little while and then he got involved in like a bunch of uh, uh like cover bands and stuff like that so he just kind of wanted to be like a touring like act for different bands and stuff so sure those are some of my couple of my favorites that came out of the scene from there so did you ever um do you do you remember the suit uh the sweet the oh, suit yeah, the, adam suit yep yeah. i still Midnight talk to suit paul. yeah paul the screamer i still oh, talk yeah. to him a little bit um, some of those guys, I don't know whatever happened to a lot of them. They just kind of had families and branched out and stuff. Yeah, but, get, yeah. get old man and you move on. Yeah. Cause they're, I, uh, I still talk to Paul and Dustin every so often. Yep. Yeah. Good dudes. Good. Great band. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I, like that was like it was uh, these hearts and the suit that were kind of like the the yep. the Fargo staple. Yep. Yeah. Do you remember them, Matt? I do. I do. I I went to quite a few the suit and <laughs> these heart shows back in the day. There you go. Uh, you have collaborated with a few different artists so far in your career. Uh, what do you like most about collaborating with other artists? Um, I think it's cool just to be able to, you know, get a little, like, add something to your songs, you know, like, you know, a little, like, whatever they have to bring to the table to your song. I think that's cool. Not only that, but I think it's cool being able to expand your fan reach by, you know, like, having them on the songs because, like, they don't, like, a lot of their fans didn't know who we, who we were and a lot of our fans didn't know who they were. So it's just kind of, mm -hmm. like, sharing your you know your favorite pokemon cards or something you know it's like <laughs> oh you're speaking matt's language right now yeah right <laughs> it's just it's nice to do because it's just like you get like i said it expands your fan reach and you get to like meet so much many more people that like your music and stuff by doing that it's a better reach do you have a favorite uh favorite artist you've collaborated with or one that really Man, comes I, I like them all i they i think they all you know, contributed well to the songs and stuff like that. I know Make Out was awesome. Um, I really liked, uh, gosh, I'm like drawing a blank here. I just got off of work not long ago. Oh, no, you're so. good. <laughs> uh, Gavin Magnus did an awesome job of mm -hmm. helping promote the songs and stuff like that. And he, he was always very cooperative with anything we wanted to do with it. And he did his parts like that. So uh, it, it was awesome working with him too. Telltale was awesome. We got to, you know, go on a little tour stretch with them, too. And uh, I think he added to that song so much. It was it was a perfect fit. When you uh, when you're collaborating with another artist, do you have um, like do you have their part already written out and everything in mind? Or do you kind of like, here, see, see what you got, see what what you're feeling? Yep. So for most of them, like I said, like the lyrics were already wrote, you know, those were like those are the ones we went through and wrote with Andrew Wade. Yeah. So we wanted to keep those the same. We want to the same just because the song is about, you know, what we were going for. Um, and then as far as that, we let them have creative control with it. If they wanted to keep it, you know, the same as what it was, they could, if they wanted to add to it, like they could, and, and they all put their own little spin on it. So give it, give it a little flair. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it just, it just worked well. It just we're open to anything, you know, because if, if they did do something, sing something, different and we liked it and it could have been you know better than what we had so oh yeah do you have any um any tour plans coming up um nothing as of right now i know like management's working on just kind of scoring some other shows with some bigger bands and stuff like that but right now we're kind of taking the time just to write right now we're going to start writing for the next ep okay which we started on um i'm going to be doing a cover here coming up fast release You'll see which one it is soon. Okay, uh, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be fun. We're, we're, we're really busy, um, just sure. doing stuff lines right now, getting everything ready, and just kind of dealing with management and talks with like different different bands and going from there. Oh yeah, I love a good pop punk cover. I liked your guys' cover of "Party in the USA." <laughs> it's a it's a yeah, jam. It was, it was a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. We got one more question before we go to a quick break. Uh, if you could give our listeners a piece of advice that you know now that you wish you knew when you were first starting your journey, what would it be? Don't give up and don't be so hard on yourself. Trust in, like, trust in your music, man. Like, when you're making music, like, just always believe that it's good enough. You know, there's the, take some, you know, good advice and, like, whatever. But, like I said, always keep an open mind. And uh, just believe that what you write is good enough. And then you can go from there and start making it better. If you need Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Completely agree. It, and, you know, as we even said just a, a little earlier, like being in a band, it's tough, man. It's like it is one of the hardest things you could choose to do with your life. We talk about this all the time on the show, but like it's expensive. It is so difficult sometimes, you know, and sometimes yep. you, you feel down because – it's hard. Yep. And I will add to that because now with 
TikTok and all these other things, which is what every label is looking for. And like, you know, you're your own marketing person now too. It's like, it does, it gets in your head when videos don't pop and your music trying to get it pushed. And like, you just see everybody else getting pushed and like, whatever. It's like, that's the hardest thing too. That's why I said, like, you got to keep a level head and just know that like, just keep plugging away. Don't give up because it's only a matter of time before one of your videos pops and it gets out there, you know, just don't, don't keep trying, at least keep trying. Don't yeah. stop. And that's why I, I mean, I, one of the, <laughs> one of the better trends that I see for bands, but it, it also gets a little old, you know, when you've seen it over and over, but you know, pretty much the, the way the band right now is doing the exact, like the exact same song, the exact same clip over and over and over, just a little different each time, just, just yeah. a little different enough to keep, you know, cause We've talked about this a lot. TikTok is great and it's wonderful, but it only really serves one purpose, and that's to bring new people, right. brand new people, because every single time it's you're shooting, your video is directed towards new people. Right. Be- because unlike, you know, the new threads, uh, yep. you know, Instagram or anything like that, to where they, if they follow you, they see your. Right. your posts but tiktok's not that way because nobody goes and watches their like their following page they just watch the for you right so it, you gotta unfortunately you gotta keep up that content grind it's yeah and, and it gets old the algorithm is a bitch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. if you got if you got faith in yourself you got faith in your music just keep up that grind yeah Dude, eventually it'll pop off. Like I said, all it takes, man, is one video, one video, and like your whole career could be made. You know, absolutely. I mean, we've seen that. Even we've seen it from like Wine on a Fighter. There's stuffs being popping off. Magnolia Park, Punk yep. Rock Factory. I mean, there's just even in the pop punk scene alone, like there's plenty. Yes. Yep. So. Cool. With that, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with our next segment. Do you love music videos and miss when MTV, VH1, and Fuse all actually played music videos? Then join me, Giddy, as I host a super awesome music video show on Twitch every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on the Unsigned Pop Punk Twitch channel. We play the best videos from up and coming pop punk emo alternative music in the scene. So join us every Thursday and find your new favorite band. And we're back. Thanks so much for hanging out, sticking around. You know, I know that sometimes ads make you want to run and not not get to the next part. Uh, but you know, we're still here. Now it's time for the always favorite food for thought segment. So, Midwest is mostly known for comfort foods, you know, such as hot dishes and casseroles. Is there a food that comes to mind that Really, only people in North Dakota like do. Man, I don't know, but you got to go with the name Tater Tot Hot Dish. <laughs> Seems like a pretty good staple to start with. Uh, how, and, how do you Tater Tot Hot Dish? There's there's I, a lot of ways. I mean, I just eat it. I never really, I've never <laughs> made it myself, <laughs> but I know I throw like a bunch of Creole seasoning on top, and that's it. Maybe some ketchup. Okay. So That's like it. So like in your tater tot like in tater tot hot dish like that you have, like I said, there's a bunch of different kinds. But like do you have like is it like corn, green beans, and you know, the works oh. just kind of like a mixed veggies in there toss? You know, I've seen the corn in it and I've I don't think I've ever seen the green bean. Okay. But I think it's just like your meat and then your what is it, cream of mushroom soup they put in there or something and then yeah, some of the corn and then just the tater tots on top. And then maybe do they put potatoes in it sometimes, I think. I don't know. God. That's what I'm saying. There's lots of ways. I've had it with potatoes in it. Do you, uh, are you, are you, uh, neatly tater tots on top and an even rose, or are we just chucking them and who gives a shit what they look like? Well, even rows. I, I like that where it's like got the nice crisp on top. And yeah, then you, you gotta get that crisp, man. 
Oh, like, uh, that's the right way. I, I, otherwise, it's chaos. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'm not like a huge tater tot dish, whatever the hell it's called, fan. <laughs> like, I, it's not my favorite dish. I, if I see him, like, ah, oh, no, we're having that, but I'll eat it. You know. Let okay. me let I me tell like you that. something that uh, me and my wife started making because tater tot hot dish is actually pretty rad. But I was like, you know what? It can be better, and so. We came up with, I don't know if we came up with it or anything, but we started doing bacon cheeseburger tater tot oh. hot dish. And I don't remember exactly what it's because it's not cream of mushrooms. Fuck that. First off, I don't like mushrooms. Yeah. So, like it's it's something else. <laughs> but so I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't remember what it is. I want to say it's like a cheese one, but I don't think so. But uh yeah, I mean, you get some crispy bacon in there. You can put your ketchup and some some mustard, and it's like a cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. That sounds good. Yeah, I might eat it. I actually enjoy it that way then. Yeah, me too. Because like up at least up here in northern Minnesota, like it's pretty common for it to be like a can of mixed veggies, you know, corn, yeah. beans, peas, and I'm like, you're a dick. I don't like that. <laughs> So you just remove all the vegetables and just yeah. Who the hell put all this healthy shit in tater? I top? love corn, and <laughs> I've recently started liking peas a little bit, but like, and green beans they're not so bad. I just I don't I don't want to eat it that way. I don't want it. I don't like it. Fuck! I don't know if I could do peas, man. That shit's the antichrist. <laughs> Can't handle that. Well. <laughs> Damien. Uh... <laughs> I'm trying to remember what I was like, what I was eating that I was like, Hey, the peas in this are actually pretty good. I don't know. Were you drinking? Yeah. (laughs) Uh, maybe (laughs) that's also possible. Oh, Oh. I I didn't want to make sure. I didn't want to interrupt your, your burger casserole or whatever. it is. No, I'm good. You're up, you're, you're good. You're good. Good. You are, ta- <laughs> you are tasked with making a tasting menu to go along with your new EP, Stay Toxic. What menu items match each song? Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stay Toxic. Peas. Um, dead Inside. Peas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You put peas in his head. That's every yep. answer now. <laughs> <laughs> Paranoid. I don't know. Probably something like cabbage or something. I don't know. <laughs> Radish. Yeah. I don't know. For the other ones, I'm going to go with peas too. <laughs> I just hope I people come to your shows. The, song, the songs are better than peas. I mean, <laughs> the songs are for sure better than peas. I mean, unless you really like peas, then. Then I then you love the songs, so yes, it can go both ways. So it's yeah. either the songs are either just better than peas, or they're as good as peas if you really like peas. Right. Either way, the songs are great, and that's what people need to understand. All right. <laughs> what was that? I said that's all that matters. It's all that matters. So He's sure. All that matters is Brooklyn's music fucks and. Fuck peas. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main thing I want to come out of this is that fuck peas. <laughs> yeah, I mean we'll you know we'll we'll make this a, a good clip. So everything that everybody needs to know. Brooklyn fucks and fuck peas. And get them out. That, we need to get that on a t-shirt. I think that'd yeah. be sick. It's Brooklyn says fuck peas. <laughs> <laughs> fuck hard and fucks peas. Fucks hard and fucks peas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So we got one more food for thought question. Do you have to pick um a state that has the best food and is crowned the best food state? What what mm-hmm. state are you picking and why? God, that's a tough one between three of them. Okay. Yeah. New York, Chicago, and LA. Um, although Texas, I do love you some barbecue. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you get the best of all of those in L.A. I love L.A. 
because there's a lot of great food. But you know, Chicago's got my heart for Italian. Yeah. So I don't know, but I'm, I'm going to go with LA because I feel like you can get a lot of that mixture and great Mexican food as well. Well, and you've got that ever ever popular California pizza kitchen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's good. You know, if you actually is that actually a? You think it's? A, I've never. It's really not that good. It. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know. It, I had it. In, there's one in Kansas City. I had it there. Oh, it's, a no, place, she... it's a place that would put peas on their pizza. Oh, I like, I don't California think so. <laughs> fuck California Pizza Kitchen. <laughs> Unless you want to sponsor this episode, then yeah, California yeah. Pizza Kitchen. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. I'll, I'll eat your pizza. <laughs> I'll eat any pizza as long as it doesn't have anchovies or peas on or it. Or peas. Yeah. yeah, I think those L.A., like I said, when I went down there, uh, we went to this place called Din Tai Fung, and it was like a dumpling, like Asian dumplings. Mm-hmm. And just, you think you've had a dumpling before, but you haven't. It's almost like you've had pizza before but you never had brooklyn and like manhattan right. pizza so mm-hmm. i almost you know passed away eating it because it was so good <laughs> nice yeah, i mean not was... nice i would definitely do, wouldn't want you to pass away but <laughs> in a good way though you know yeah 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 uh <laughs> awesome. i mean california is great because you know it's such a melting pot you know it's like right. so many different cultures and have have like everything is over there it's like it's you know both coasts are are pretty similar that way because you know everybody wants new york everybody the other half want california yeah no and new york was great too man like when we went on tour and went there like you just walk down manhattan just thousands of places just different food ethnicities and you and you just spend hours all day just going into like food places and eating a little bit of this and that and it's yeah yeah it's it's wild both places are pretty like i i'm uh i i prefer california i I prefer the the west coast but both coasts you know they they they're both great they both got they both got good things for real less snow than the midwest yes yeah that's nice too well i guess except for buffalo new york they keep getting fucked real hard yeah but yeah, yeah. I don't so think do they get the cold like we do, though. That fucking... no, no. They don't get the cold like we do, and and I suppose it's probably like North Dakota has got to get it pretty cold. Oh my god, yeah, we get. Man, this last winter was terrible too. It's it's kind of a hit or miss. Sometimes we get really nice winters, and others, most of them, we don't. I mean, it's like sixty below zero, and uh, yeah, yep. it's yeah, you got to work that. outside. 15 minute increments or freeze your lungs. So that's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. But, I, I'm being up in Duluth. I totally get that. All about it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, all about it. It's awful. I actually, I think one of the last times I was in North Dakota is we ran, I was, I was touring with cities and my guitar player, Joe was like, you know, we, we can fucking make it. We got this. We can do it. We didn't fucking make it. We ran out of gas <laughs> Uh, <laughs> somewhere on the highway, <laughs> on our way to Minot. And, oh no, uh, they ain't, and you know there ain't shit. Yeah, that's yeah. In the middle of the yeah, out here it's it sucks because like I said, you're like two, three, four hours in between. You know the next town or city. You know what I mean out here. So it's like you get stuck out there. It's like have fun. Yep. Hope hope you make it. So our our drummer hitched a ride with somebody to a to a gas station. Now it was a uh, we yeah obviously we got out of there but uh it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. That's it. That's the end of our food for thought segment. Now all we got left, is we got rapid fire questions. Friendships will be tested. Rapid fire questions. You're just going to speak from the heart. You're going to shoot from the hip and just go for it. Okay. All right. Mountain Dew or Mellow Yellow? Uh, Mountain Dew. Horror or comedy movies? Horror. Yeah. This isn't an either or, just a generalized question. Do you still listen to the radio? Uh, no. No, not really. I mean, I don't think... I, don't, I can't imagine. I can't even remember anybody that does. I, I don't know. Maybe they do. 
it, it's but, been pretty hit or hit and miss around like for the for this question it i, mean, I would say most people say no especially am i mean who the hell listens to am radio i you know no one <laughs> i mean <laughs> i forget there is am radio <laughs> for real <laughs> <laughs> do you uh like where in in North Dakota, where you are, is there any like rock stations, or is it all pretty much like a couple pop and country? I mean, mostly all country, and mm-hmm. then maybe one or two rock stations. Okay, and even those start playing country. I, I wouldn't. Yeah, it's. Are they more like oldies though? Uh like, yeah, they're like all, yeah oldies. Yeah. Yep, it's not new. It's not like you know, like serious like plays right. on like whatever the fuck it is but yeah i feel you that's all that's all duluth is, is co- yeah. country pop and oldies and oldies yep. and five finger death punch oh i don't get that we don't have that we don't <laughs> even have that we may get I, some nickelback going in there if we're lucky dude i'll tell you right now i would fuck with some nickelback <laughs> if, if we had a station that played it <laughs> No, it is like old. And now, don't get me wrong, my the oldies is okay because oldies for us now is like you know Motley Crue, Van yeah. Halen. You know, yeah. it's like it's not super bad, but uh, you know, it gets a little old. Yes. All right. Yes. Yeah, Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon? Uh, Cartoon Network. What's what's your jam on Cartoon that. Network? Yeah. I don't know. It wasn't like Dexter's Laboratory on that because I remember watching that. Yep, mm-hmm. that's fucking dope. I haven't watched too much Cartoon Network, but when I did, <laughs> that's what I watched. There you go. All right, thin crust or regular crust pizza? That depends. Because I love me some Chicago deep dish, mm-hmm. but I think I'm gonna go for thin. Because uh, I don't know. I just kind of, I don't know. A little bit more crunchy on the bottom, you know, like true. Mm-hmm. Little snap to the pizza, I like that. I like that too. I agree. Lindsay Lohan or Tara Reed? Okay, this is hard hitting uh, journalism. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to go with shit, man. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with some Lindsay Lohan. Nice. It's tough. I don't make these easy. Yeah. Uh, Newfound Glory or MXPX? Damn. Yeah. Those are both some of the fucking bands that I like grew up listening to that really inspired me. You know what I mean? Like, so Newfound Glory. I'm going to go with Newfound Glory. But MXPX, I actually listened to them before I even heard, you know, obviously of uh, Newfound mm-hmm. Glory. So I don't know. The, the thing is, is, they're both kings. Like, they're both yeah. like the some of the best in, in, the, in the genre. But, Great. you know, it's like everybody's like preferences. Yeah, one way or the other. Yeah, but it like Newfound Glory is one of my favorite bands of all time. But so is MXPX. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Yep. All right, our last rapid fire question. We're gonna test your jingles knowledge. Can you sing for us the O'Reilly Auto Parts jingle? Yeah. Oh 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh. Nice. Yeah. I always get so jazzed when people hit that last that wow because that's that's really what sells it. That's what makes it. Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> have, I knew it. We have so many dumb jingles up in this area, man. I mean, we got this one dude for I don't know. If you, I don't know if you guys get him with the America mattress guy. You ever hear that guy? No, I don't uh, think so. It, all it is is him just screaming, just like it's America's mattress over and <laughs> over and twenty times. I'm and, gonna uh, have to look that up. Oh yeah, you gotta look it up. Look, I actually maybe... have YouTube popped up right now. America's yeah, mattress. Try, yeah, try to look around like the Bismarck area if you can, like Bismarck America mattress commercial or something. America's mattress. Oh yeah, it's a gem. Movie commercial. What the hell is that? These are from seven years ago. Oh yeah, It'll probably, I mean it's been around for a long time. It's been gracing us with America mattress oh, commercials. Boy. Oh boy. All right. I'll have to uh I'll have to check that out after. <laughs> cool. Well, that's it. You did it. You finished the podcast. Now's your chance to let everybody know what you got going on, where they can find you, 
And what's next? All right, let's go. Um, like I said, you can go ahead and check out all of our music on any streaming platform. Um, go ahead and check us out on TikTok, Instagram, Threads, um, Facebook, any platform. You can just check us out at. Uh, we got, like I said, the new Stay Toxic album out, so you might enjoy all those songs if you're into, you know, you had something with toxic people in your life. You might be able to relate to it. Um, we're going to be doing some more writing. Like I said, we're starting on our next EP. And uh, we'll hope to have that out very, very soon. So we're going to keep rolling with them back to back to back to back and just staying relevant. Hell yeah. That's the way you got to do it. Constant what, content. Constant. Of course. It's the way it is now. It, it's true. But at least you, you guys got the got the tunes to back it. So can't oh, wait well, to thanks. see what you guys got coming up and uh, hear some new tunes. All right. We're excited to share it. Hell yeah. Well, thanks so much for hanging out. Matt and I. I'm going to do my really awkward transition right now. Matt and I, we're going to hop on into Unsigned Pop Punk News, and you'll hear that jingle right now. Welcome to the Unsigned Pop Punk News. You made it this far. You might as well stay until the end and hear what we have to say. I mean, you're here. I mean, if you're hearing this, you're here. So welcome. You know? Welcome. Welcome. You know, we're going to switch things up. So I don't know how Matt. No, you know what? I'm done talking. Matt, hit him with hit him with stuff. You know, you know, friends. <laughs> we've been here. It's been a while. You 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 listen to this whole episode, and you were like, you know what? I really, really, really want to voice my own opinion. Yes. And guess what? You can because we have a Discord. We do. It's in the description down there. It's in the description up there. And if you're listening somewhere that doesn't have a video and you're like, where the hell are you pointing? Find the description. I believe yeah. in you. Hit that Discord link. We have a ton of like-minded musicians in there who love to hang out and meet new things. Meet new things, new people. <laughs> new things, too. You know what? New things, too. And your, their, your, their new things can be your new things. But mm -hmm. it won't be your new things unless you join that Discord. Yeah. I have a link, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you the link because that's stupid. Because you're a big boy and a big girl and a big person if you don't want to identify that way. Yeah. Go find the link and be part of our community. And look, the reason we don't do uh, just tell you the link is because Discord's one of the only things that's not slash on sign pop punk. It's like a whole bunch of like K Y x c minus dash in it you know just go look for it it's gonna be a lot easier you're not gonna remember what we what the link is anyway and want to tell you we tell you this every week gender our gender equality shirts it's awesome it's a great thing it's a, so we we are donating 15 percent of all purchases of our gender equality shirts uh to the trevor project whose mesh whose mission is to end suicide among LGBTQ youth, help us in supporting this amazing cause and to support saving young LGBTQ lives. Matt, Absolutely. tell them about the punk rock flea market. Hey, Matt here again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what, you know what really also helps people? Wares and bands. And where can you Where's get wares, bands, and whatever else you need? The punk rock flea market. It's coming up on the 19th. So make sure you come by and see all the bands and vendors. Remember, it's free. Mm -hmm. That's F R E E. I yeah. spelled it for you. That's free. So you can spend your hard earned money on supporting local vendors and bands at the back alley in Duluth from 11 to 7 on August 19th. I'll be there. Pat will be there. Some fucking awesome bands will be there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We also, afterwards, Matt's going to be performing at the After Party, which goes from 7 to 10 at Duluth Cider. I Matt, will be there. you stoked for that, dude? Oh, man. We talked about it a little bit in this episode, but my, my band, my, I don't know if we actually talked about it. That might have been secret stuff. <laughs> but I, I I got my my, my my band that's playing with me. Yeah. Oh, it's like Chef's Kiss chef's with kiss. many ones. You know, two of them actually kissed on one of our episodes, and if I felt that, nice, 
Nice. I like it. I like it. Twitch news. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Twitch news. Uh, music. I, New Music Friday may be back because this is August. We're not recording this in August, however, but I'm just telling you, it's August. <laughs> uh, and uh, so New Music Friday on Tuesday may be back, but it might not be. But if it is, go check it out. And if it's not, just go check out the New Music Friday playlist which updates every Friday and it's always got some bangers on it. It's, it's great. Uh, super music, super awesome. I might, I can't say words today. Super <laughs> awesome music video show is, is live. It's on Twitch. Um, and this could be Thursday. It could, it could be Saturday still. I don't Saturday. know. I don't know. It's news to me, but I do know that the top 10 music video countdown for sure is either live on Wednesday or Sunday. It is for sure. But you know, the easiest way to figure this out, go to our, go to twitch.tv twitch.tv slash unsigned pop punk and look at our schedule. (laughs) Cause it's there. (laughs) Cause it could be anything. I don't know. We'll have to see if Gibby is still, you know, supporting PBS or if Gibby has moved to texas at this point but we'll see i don't know anything anything is possible thank you again to alex for hanging out with us today it's been a pleasure matt thanks for being my friend lawrence crow thanks for making all of our art being the art master gibby one thanks for being the hostess with the mostest uh our twitch guru um thanks to uh ross at electric kiwi for making our website and keeping that all snazzy and looking good um and thanks to all of you thanks to all of you for being awesome hanging out with us every week we love you and we will see you next week thank you so much for checking out the show please hit that like subscribe or follow button so you never miss an episode and thank you so much to those of you who already are Check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or anywhere else you stream your podcasts. If you're in the position to help us grow and like behind-the-scenes access and exclusive shows, head on over to our Patreon at www.patreon.com slash unsignedpoppunk. Let us know in the comments who you'd like to see on the show and what other content you'd like to see. Thank you all so much.